In this video I'll show you how to perform photometry using Macaulay. So once we have our file open as we saw in the initial video we can go to processing and then photometry and we see a question saying selection of photometry mode and we select aperture which is the circular form which most uh, photometry functions require and we see another window opening here with a, a series of parameters that we can change the first thing we need to change is the radius and we change that to semi-auto that means we have some control over the radius of the uh, aperture that we're going to choose we will change the sky inner annulus to 12 and the sky radius to 5 and we'll see in a second what that does and we'll change the star to 10 pixels in radius if I move this window off to the side a little you can see what I do now when I select a star here we see some numbers appearing in the aperture photometry window and if I go to another star here and a third star here you can see that each time I do so I collect some more numbers by zooming in we can see something about the values that we've set and what they do so the radius for the star is represented by the purple circle and that within that is where we count the number of photons that have hit the CCD to determine the brightness of the star. The two blue circles that are outside of that at a radius of 12 and a radius of 17, that's 12 plus 5, the sky radius, they represent the annulus which we use to calculate the sky background value which is then subtracted by Macaulay itself. If we have a look at the aperture photometry window there are a lot of numbers in there and many of them are not that much use to us particularly in the form they, they sit in here it, it's slightly hard to understand exactly what's happening but we can see for example for star 1 that we have an x coordinate of 204 and a y coordinate of 747 we can also see the radius value that we set this value of 10 and the inner radius and outer radius of the annulus at 12 and 17 here and the value that we're most interested in is this value here, the count. And this, you see the count value for the three stars is of the order of 60,000 or so counts, 60,000 photons hitting the CCD from that star during the exposure time. The way of calculating, or the way of using these numbers is uh, much easier with Excel than reading off the screen here. And the final thing I'll show you how to do in this video is to save that as an Excel file. And we go to print and it's set up immediately as a CSV file which is the perfect um, file format for uh, Excel to read and if we click on save we've saved all that information and that's it for this video